welcome back. Again, I'm Donna with ABC Cake Decorating and Baking Supplies. I really enjoyed the last segment, the Mickey and Minnie ones. I hope you did too. This segment here, we're just gonna kinda just jaunt just a little bit. It's just a different technique. This is a very short lesson, but you know what? It, it's actually kinda cool because it, it's gonna just give an extra pow to your cupcakes. One of the things is right around here, just to get a design around the cupcake when you don't want the whole cupcake design. What I did is I used the blue jimmies on, on Finding Dory. This time I'm going to use the nonpareils. If you don't know or didn't realize what the names were, these are called nonpareils. These are those little dots that, that are kind of crunchy. You can also add those to your cake batter too and they will give it little blasts of color also. So you can also use those in your batter too. What I've got here is I've got this cake stand. I did get it from ABC, the Finding Dory, along with the Dory papers. And then I thought these were kind of cool to go along with it just to kind of break it up just a little bit. So those are my papers. And then I got these little toys. And again, I got these at ABC. I thought they'd be really cute to put on top of these cupcakes. Instead of the picks and the, and the rings that I had for these, I thought these will just be a little bit different. So the Dory here on the pick, she's both sides. So that's kind of cute. So you can kind of change them back and forth. And then the, the rings, I think they come in four different designs. So, okay. What I've done for the Dory colors is I went with the electric blue and I went with the electric yellow. That way there, the colors on the Finding Dory are really going to pop because with her being that, that pretty blue and yellow fish that she is, I thought that the electric colors were really going to be beneficial in, in finding her. <laughs> okay. So what I've done is I, I went ahead and I've already colored my bags because I didn't think you needed to see me color again. And if you didn't see any of the previous segments, please go back and just about every segment I've done, I've actually added color to something. So this is my electric blue. And what I have here is, does anybody know what this is? It's the plain tip is what I got. And the reason it's plain is because there's no design on it other than just a, just a dot, okay? And this is a larger tip. And again, if you're not sure, you can read it. It's, it's hard to see this, and it's even hard to see it sometimes when you're looking at it in real time. It's an 808. This one is an 808, okay? So to, to get that look, what I've done, straight up and down, 90 degrees, just above, again, all I'm doing is squeezing out just kind of like I, what I did with the mini candles and then I stop squeezing and then I'm just going to take my tip and just kind of wipe it around because I don't want to get one of those little high points on it. Now this is the technique I wanted to show you. We're going to move this out of the way now and what we're going to do is we're just going to take and you want to put it in, in a bowl and we're just going to go around it. And if you need to, we can, you might need to go back and forth just a little bit. See, and then we'll take Dory. We'll put Dory on top. Look how fast and simple that was. But look, you've taken just a plain ice cupcake and you just went to a little bit more extraordinary with the cupcake. You can also do that again if you wanted to. We'll do it with the yellow this time, with the blue. Now, like in the other one, you can also use your, your just your coupler as your plain tip also. Okay, it's a little bit smaller than that, that 808 tip, but that's okay. Do the same thing, just above, squeeze till you get the icing all the way out. Then we're gonna stop squeezing. We're just gonna wipe it. So you don't really need that tip. You just got the exact same same type of icing tip with that. And here, we're just gonna take our jimmies or our toppers, whichever part of the United States you come from. And we're, again, we're just gonna roll. And just like in the Mickey's, 
or if you didn't watch that segment, whenever you use these, if you don't use them all, you do need to throw away what you don't use because you've already kind of contaminated them with the buttercream. So you don't want to reuse them again. And then we're going to take our Nemo and we're going to stick Finding Nemo in there. And now you just found Nemo with just the nice little, little toppers right around him. Now on these here, kind of like what I did with the minis, and I'm going to just show you real quick. What I've done is I've just hook my coupler here. And all I've done is I just on top of my cupcake squeeze, stop squeezing. And all I've done is just a group of dots right around my cupcake. And that's what I did for, for my my little Nemo. It basically had nothing more than just these little dots. Now sometimes, and like right now down here, or you might end up with like a little high spot like that because it's crusting buttercream. Once it gets a little hard, you can go right in there and you can take your finger and you can push it down and then you don't have the high spot. So if, if you do end up the, the key to it is to squeeze, stop squeezing and pull away. But sometimes with a consistency, because we've been using this icing, again, it gets a little soft. You may get those peaks. So once it's dry, we're just gonna go in and see how you can just kind of knock down these peaks. And if it's not ready yet, then just give it a couple more minutes and you'll be able to knock it down. So I hope you enjoyed that segment. The next one, lesson 13, we are starting into the garden cupcakes. So we're kind of getting out of the, the little kid theme into a nice Mother's Day, Grandparents' Day, a nice ladies' tea. It's gonna be a great cupcake. And we're gonna learn how to fill a cupcake and how to core a cupcake. See you soon, thank you.